Well, it's November 15th, and I finally have sort of germination in all of those little Jiffy 7 pots. Five of them, uh, definitely, and the sixth one, they're just starting to germinate today. It's one of the ones that I replanted. It's that uh, pelletized seed that I talked about earlier. So I'm going to uh, plant them in the hydroponic outfit here and show you how I do that because um, in particular the cucumber, the new leaf that's come out on the cucumber is not a very healthy looking color and I think that's because there isn't uh, any nutrient at all in those peat pellets. It's, it's desperately in need of something to feed on so I'm going to set this thing up. I hope you can read that. If I don't leave it up long enough for you to read it, uh, just pause it and, and you can go back to it. But what uh, I was just trying to show you what I use for nutrients is called the Flora series. And there's three different uh, um, bottles of, of uh, nutrient that I use. There are more in the series, but I just use the first three. One's called Flora Grow, one's called Flora Micro. And the last one is Flora Bloom. And last year, I was just growing various kinds of greens, so all I used was these first three here. First three weeks, and I didn't necessarily change it every week, but I used those first three suggested mixtures of the uh, solutions. However, this year, the cucumber, I want it to both bloom and produce, so I'm going to have to carry on, I guess, and go down through the entire 12-week program here. Um, I just don't know what that's going to mean for the lettuce plants if that change in nutrients up to when you into the blooming phase and uh, um, fruit producing phase whatever if that will cause them to bolt or or not but time will tell it's the cucumbers that I'm more interested in the lettuce I guess so that's what I'm going to be doing. Now I'll give you a little look at uh, the hydroponic kit that I use. Well, that's the tub that I use. Uh, I bought this kit online at uh, on uh, eBay. Probably paid a little more for it than you would if you made it yourself, but uh, there aren't any stores around here within, well, I don't know of any within driving distance of here that sell uh, hydroponics equipment. So it was easier for me to buy it all in one thing on, on eBay. That uh, container supposedly holds five gallons five US gallons I guess of, of water but uh, it has some holes drilled in it uh, places for the air hose to go out and whatever so it wouldn't actually hold five gallons and right now it has slightly more water than I would normally put in it you can see that line down below the water here that's where I normally filled it last year uh, but I want the uh, bottom of the net pots to be just barely touching in the water this time because there aren't any roots to go down into the into the water. I've already added the other two nutrients and this is the one that they call micro, flora micro, it's the micro elements. That's the one you, you can definitely see when you add this one, it stains the water pretty good. There's about four and a half gallons of water in it right now. And uh, if you watch a lot of the very good videos on hydroponics from people that know a lot more about it than I do, um, they're always dealing with parts per million in the water, and some people use only rainwater. And anyway, I determined last year if I had to throw all that, I just wouldn't be doing it. So I use water straight out of the tap. Now it is a well, it's not, not city water that's chlorinated or anything like that, but I had good success with it last year, just adding the nutrients to water right out of the tap. So that's what I'm going to carry on with this year. And I guess I'll put the very large air stone down in there. And come back in a second when I've got the net pots on it. And that's the air stone going. I don't know if I have light enough there for you to see the bubbles coming up or not. But I like to leave that going for a while because that mixes the nutrients around nicely. The pump that came with this is the quietest little aquarium pump I've ever had. I, I've had aquariums in the past. 
It's absolutely almost silent. You might hear a buzzing sound in the background here. We're also close to the arrow garden. I think that's what most of the sound is coming from. Anyway, what I plan to do now is to start potting these things up. The bottom of the net cups is just barely in the water, an eighth of an inch or so. And this is my cucumber plant. And as you can see there, you see the roots are out. There's roots coming up through the sides, and quite a large root on the bottom. So far so good for the cucumber plant, I think. I'm just going to put it in the bottom of the net pot, hopefully. Okay. And now I have those... Uh, I had to go get them. I have those clay pellets that's used in hydroponics. Put some around it to hold it in place. I think that will do. I won't make you watch me do all of them, but there's the... Oops, I zoomed in on it. There's the cucumber plant. I will be lowering the lights down closer, and I'll come back and show you the other five once I've got everything in them. Well, that's all six of the net pots with the little Jiffy 7 pellets in them. And I guess you can see bits of green in five. Uh, the back row on the far right hand side, um, there isn't anything green showing yet. But the two little seeds in there, of that uh, pelletized lettuce, have started to germinate. They've got a little root going down. And I perhaps should have left them under lights on the heating pad, but I didn't want them to get any bolting up and get leggy or whatever so I've, I've put them over here and we'll see what happens and hopefully uh, these things will all make it so far so good I won't be putting this video up for a while yet so come back in a few days time and see if there's been any progress somebody asked me to show the light garden set up so I've moved back as far as I can get in this room I guess I could go back against the wall further, but it's a two-tier light garden, and so far I just have the top tier going. When I start seedlings in the spring, I'll get the, the bottom tier going as well. And the shiny stuff in behind it is just one of those Mylar emergency blankets to uh, make it reflect light back onto the plants. I used to keep it in front of a window, and that would hang down on this side so that the outdoor light would reflect back at it. So I guess the next time I get to a dollar store, I've got to see if I can find another Mylar blanket and put one on both sides so that it will put the light in there. But anyway, that shows you what the setup looks like. The lights are on a timer, uh, going the same amount of time that the uh, Aero Garden does. And it's 18 hours of light followed by shutting off for six hours cycles that way day after day on a, a, a quite well a nice little timer outfit that works quite well and I can, you can plug both um, tiers into it when I'm using both tiers so anyway as I said we'll come back in a few days and see if there's any progress here well it's November 25th a sunny day out but very cold well, cold for this time of year. Minus seven and lots of wind. I'm still trying to convince myself to go out for my morning walk and I haven't done it yet. That is not looking healthy, is it? That's one of the lettuce plants in the hydroponics and not sure of the variety because I didn't mark the variety. It was doing quite well and all of a sudden that one collapsed. I don't know why. I'll show you the other ones here and uh, that is the worst. So now show you the better ones I guess. Uh, this one back here in the corner that's the last one to germinate so it's not very big yet but it's alive anyway and the other three lettuce plants I don't know they seem to be 
doing fairly well, I guess. I've raised the light up to uh, do this video, normally down much closer to them. This one here is sort of a yellowish green color, but I think that's because of the variety, that French heirloom variety, the Gajon d'Or, um, is sort of a, well, as d'Or, gold indicates, it's sort of a yellowish colored uh, lettuce, sort of, I guess the term would be chartreuse or something like that. Anyway, it's not a dark green plant, and I'm assuming that's what that one is. And the other ones are at least alive. This one's sort of laying over on its side, but that tends to happen with these things until they perk up and get, get going. I'm not sure if this one maybe didn't get roots down in the solution. The center leaf coming up out of there looks to me like it might still be alive, so I'm going to leave it for a few more days, and if that doesn't work, I'll reseed it. But I want to show you the roots on the cucumber plant here. I'll get this swing around so we can look at just the cucumber. I haven't changed the nutrients yet. This is still the same solution that I started with, but today or tomorrow I will be changing. I haven't bothered to change because there hasn't been much roots down in the solution. But, uh, if you get a look at this one, you'll see it's definitely got roots. There, I guess that's a full length of them, but that one is doing very well. I have hopes of getting those miniature cucumbers anyway. Well, that is that for this particular hydroponics thing, and let's take a little look now at the Aero 3. Aero Garden 3 and uh, see what's happening over there, and I'll get this thing up on YouTube. Well, that's the first parsley, Italian flat leaf parsley, to germinate and come up. And as you can see, it started to grow its first true leaf. I have one other one in the pod next to it that didn't come up until much later. But it has got the two, two seed leaves. And over in the third pod, uh, nothing coming up through the little hole yet in the paper. If I lift that and look down inside, there is a seed that's, well, at least trying to germinate. It has a white sprout coming out of it, but the, the seed covering hasn't uh, broken off yet, and the leaves come out, and it's been that way for several days, so I don't know if it's going to or not. Out of nine seeds, I put three in each of these pods. I've got two that definitely germinated, and a third one that's trying. So if that doesn't make it, I'm going to do the wet paper towel in the baggy thing. Um, sprinkle quite a few seeds on a wet paper towel and put them in a baggie on the heat mat and uh, first one to germinate I'll pick it off with tweezers and put it in there somehow get get three plants out of it but anyway so far so good parsley is always very slow germinating and slow to get started as far as growing once it gets you know a number of leaves and gets to a full size it, it grows quite quickly but at least there are two there getting started and I guess that finishes this little video. I'll get this put together up on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching.